All right, here we go. I'm at the uh, property. Got an appointment to, uh, with someone that comes by later today. Hopefully sooner than later. But since I'm out here, I'm going to go ahead and do a little tour of what I've been doing. Um, you know about the shed. I mean, the shed is over here. Shed is right there. Um, it's it's on hold. Let's put it that way. I mean, I got plans for it for the outside, and also plan on uh, getting some solar panels and some batteries and all that good jazz to get me some some electricity out here. But we are going to go down my shooting range now. I'm not going to be shooting this today um, for for reasons. That I won't get into. Um, fortunately, my plants that I planted last summer just didn't make it. I mean, there's one right there. Um, there's one right there. Just didn't make it, unfortunately. That was a very brutal summer, very dry, very hot. Um, there's a fire ban for uh, several months out here. That's how dry the conditions were. Of course, we got my dog over here leading the way. Um, don't know if you saw the, oh yeah, here's some more plants that I tried to grow. They just didn't make it. Um, once again, I mean, it was just, it just wasn't in the cards. It was like blackberries, blueberries, raspberries. It just didn't make it, which is fine. I mean, it, it was a uh, experiment, and the experiment concluded, based off my research, I needed to be more involved, and I just can't be more involved. I just can't, um, unfortunately. <clears throat> About 90 miles away from my property, in Austin, Texas. I just can't do it. Uh, motivation and laziness also plays a good part of it, but weather does too. So, <clears throat> we're coming to a big hole that we've been digging. Me and my friend, of course. And we're building this backstop. Now, <clears throat> Backstop is wide enough. Now, this is the 100 yard range. The issue is it's not very tall. I mean, it's a lot of dirt, but it's just not very tall. Um, you look right there, there's a stump. Let's see if I can't position. So, right about there is where my scope goes. Like towards the middle. I mean, a hundred yards. It's it's doable. Don't get me wrong. It's doable. But at the same time, it's not doable. I kind of want it to be maybe yay high, ideally maybe another two feet, three feet. Just guessing, but. That's going to take a lot of digging, and all I got is a shovel. Um, yeah, that's really all I have is a shovel. I don't really have the means to get a uh, equipment out here. I mean, I'm pretty sure I do, but I just don't know how. So, there's, there's that. Now, I'm going to put this video on pause. I'm going to get to work. I mean, I gotta go get my shovel and I guess the question is, I'll figure that out. <clears throat> that being said, uh, I'll be back shortly. Yeah, right, there we go. I kind of started. So I worked the, uh, yard is really wet, really heavy, and I'm out of shape. Now, if my friend was here, we'd be digging 
this stuff up. But since it's just me, depending on how long I'm going to be digging, I'm going to pack it down with my uh, my feet here in a few moments and then continue on. Uh, that's what I did when I started. Um, I think you can kind of see where I started. It was um, roughly right here. It is now down. I don't know if you can tell the tell the. Uh, I don't have my uh, ruler with me, but that's all right. Um, probably a better indication right here. I think this was to right here. So it's about six, seven inches down. Um. That's about 10 inches, give or take. And it goes all the way over here. Mm. And that's just to create this pile right here. Now this pile is pretty high. Oh man. Ooh, with this much dirt on it, this much dirt on it is clay. It's rather heavy. Let's kind of get an idea on how wide it is. Oh! It's about one shovel length from a shovel to the end of the handle. This tree here, using the same measuring stick. AKA a shovel. Ah. Eh. That's probably about three feet high, four feet high ish, give or take a couple inches. So that's what I've been doing for the past couple months, minus a, uh, December and most of uh, this month too. It's been too cold or too too rainy and lack of motivation. But yeah, that's the progress I've been making. Let's see here. I mean, it is pretty high. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing, slow and steady. I think it's been about 45 minutes to an hour that I've been working. Slow and steady. I don't really want to overwork myself because uh still got to drive home. All right, so I'm back home. And uh, the visit went really well. Still have a lot of questions about the um, wildlife exemption and all that good stuff. I don't know the the questions, but the lady was lovely. We did a small little tour, showed the progress I made. Pretty much what I kind of came down to everything I was doing, keep doing with some extra steps, which is fine. Um, but this is actually my indoor garden. And I use those in quotations. So I got some grow lights. Now I got some corn growing here. Now I'm Got some more seeds that, for plants that didn't make it. Uh, these are some bell peppers. Some more corn, which may or may not make it right here. I'm hoping it makes it. The issue is, um, I think I started them too soon. But I'm excited. It's still worth it. Even if I lose the corn, I could always buy more corn seed. In fact, I was able to get this indoors is awesome. My goal is, depending on next month, is when I lost our last frost uh, date comes. Hopefully, it's soonish. So, these right here are cucumbers. Those are dills, which are right here. Some more corn. It's a different type of corn. Um, I got my peppers. Which, so these are like small peppers. Um, I'm just going to 
I've been collecting the seeds as I've been eating them. And so far, only two have blossomed. So I added some more seeds, so hopefully that works. But I only got two growing. I would say it's disappointing, but it's not. I actually have some more pepper plants that I started last year. They're on my window seal. So I was just kind of experimenting. But um Yeah, they added more seeds to these, so hopefully they work. We'll find out. More of an experiment for for the pepper seeds. Um I was kind of hoping that they, they would grow but they didn't um, right now I got two blackberry plants that are soaking in water for roughly two ish hours it says two hours on the packaging I'm going to grow some blackberries here so yeah this is um, my indoor it's kind of like a vlog of one of my days off I drove out to my property to, to meet that lady Dug a little. I didn't really get a whole lot done, but um, unfortunately, rain was going to happen, which now it's not going to happen. Texas weather could be uh, weird like that, very unpredictable. Now I got some uh, lunch in the oven, and uh, I'm going to take a small break. And I'm going to plant the blackberries. I think I'm going to put those out front. Probably won't show that since this is my house. And I know how um, people on the internet can just take one little piece of um, decoration or part of a house and be able to reverse search it. So I'm not going to be showing my house. That being said, I might add to this video tomorrow. Actually, no, I do got one other project. So. Last weekend, I did build some tables. I got the wobble mostly out. I'm probably going to um, fix that later on today. And probably buy some more. Uh, probably might buy some raspberry plants. I haven't decided. Either a blackberry. So, be right back. All right, so I'm back with this project here. I did this last Sunday. I was able to solve the wobble going that direction, but not so much this direction. Like I literally can push on this and we'll leave up. Now I did have these outside, so they're a little dirty, which is fine because I built these to be outside. They were for a potato farm that I may or may not do this year. I'm debating it. I think I'm going to do it. I got the buckets for it. I just have to um, prep. The buckets and then get the potatoes prepped for it but like i said i was not able to solve the wobble back and forth this one's a little bit more sturdier the difference is i actually doubled up on the on the screws you see right here um, i did crack this unfortunately um also cracked one of the legs but that's either here or there um so i did double up on here which did help out a lot but there's still a wobble so i got these two fence pickets in case you're wondering this is a two by two eight foot i got six of them uh this is i think an eight foot cedar by four inches pickets i think i now have a total of eight i think all together this was like right under a hundred at lows i think unfortunately i bought other things so what i plan on doing is putting the cutting these to match the length from here to here and drilling not drilling but screwing now the question is where I was thinking about doing right here right here but that's going to actually 
right here. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to get things in it. So, also thought about putting it right here. Kind of create a, um, a basket-esque vibe to it. I think I'm going to go with that route. Now, I don't have to make it this long. So I forget how many inches it was. But just make it from, from here to here. That should be, should be fine. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll be back. We have one more thing before I get the cutting. Now this is probably the most accurate way you're going to be able to do it, at least for me. Oh, the other thing that may have screwed up is that you can put it right here and then make a mark over yonder. Um, since this is going to be for outside, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, you just put your mark right here. And I don't know if you can see that. Right there, I got my mark. Now I can use this piece for all four pieces, or all three pieces actually, since this is going to be the first. And I just got three more measurements. That's just something I, I wanted to mention. It's kind of how I kind of get estimates. And it tends to be doing pretty well with uh, most of my builds. All right, I got the first piece cut. Now with the first piece cut, I got my um, my mark. I just kind of laid this over here. Now this wood is a little wet, so this has been raining here in Austin and Lowe's kept them outside, but this is an outside table. Now keep in mind, it doesn't have to be perfect um, since it's being outside. It just has to be functional. Going over function over fashion, which is what most of my builds are. But anyways, I digress. Like I said, I'm using this as a template, and I'm going to come back, and once these three are cut, and I'll probably have them screwed on. Um, I'll come back when I screw them on, because there is something that I like to do. Um, it just makes it screwing easier. Uh, one is you definitely want to do pilot holes through at least this fence because it will split on you. And uh, I just realized that uh, this piece right here has some uh, character to it. It's just fine. It's an outdoor, it's an outdoor table. It doesn't have to be perfect. Function over fashion. So just keep that in mind when you uh, pick out your material. It doesn't have to be the best material. It just has to be functional. Um, kind of surprised I didn't catch that sooner. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm moving on, moving forward, and I'm going to uh, make these uh, three cuts. Watch, yeah, three cuts. Now, one other thing if you want to do this, this is optional. Uh, this is just a scrap piece right here. I got a line right here. And if I've done it correctly, that should be mostly towards the middle. Now, I can make a template out of this, and I could drill holes in it. And then I could drill all the others just so it's all uniform. Or you can wing it. It's up to you. It's your table if you want to build this. All right, so I'm actually almost done here. So what I did is put one of my clamps, I took a scrap piece, a fence picket. This is going to ensure that it's gonna lay flat. Took another clamp on one side, and another clamp on this side. What it's gonna do is gonna hold the wood there while I screw it into the other piece. And I also, I don't know if you can tell. You can barely tell. I also went ahead and pre-drilled. 
pre-drilled. Um, this is going to mitigate cracking. Is it going to solve cracking? No, it's not. I actually had a board either on this table or the other table that did crack after I drilled. Um, the only thing I can say is take it nice and slow and easy. So, with this being done, this table is sturdy. Well, once I get it screwed in, it's going to be sturdy. And in that direction, in that direction. It's sturdy in this direction, which is that direction, and then this direction. Once those are tied down, I want to say with just this one piece, it's going to be sturdy. I'm going to make it front and back. It's going to be a basket. As I do know that there's a big hole in the middle. That's all right. I'm not planning on uh, putting small stuff on here. Maybe buckets or who knows. It's, it's just there. And if I find that I need a, a filler, I'll go get another picket. Cut it to width and length and put it in there. That's pretty much it. I'll come back with uh, both of these tables finished. Alrighty here. I'm actually done. And this is what it looks like. Now I just got to put these back in the backyard. And uh, park my car in the garage. Now we're just going to do a screw test. No, it's actually a lot stiffer. Um, now, I was hoping the beams, like this beam right here, would have done it. But the reason why I didn't do it, and the reason why these tables were wobbly, is because I'm using two by two. And if you notice, this is the first one I made. It only has one screw, which is a pivot point. Even though those have two screws, they're aligned going this way, which doesn't, which creates a pivot point this direction. The reason why this works in this direction is because there's not a pivot point. It's actually being stuck right here. Now you could do framing from like within here. But also stiffen it up from having a board like right here. Hypothetically speaking, a board like this that goes all the way across. And it would stiffen it up because you're creating a um, tension, I guess you would call it, or torsion. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I don't know these words. I just know how to make things work. Um, but the reason why. This is stiff now because there's no single pivot point. Um, I should have known that. I just wasn't thinking last weekend. Um, now there are some areas that I'm concerned, concerned about with this fix. This is just cedar, this is just cedar fence pickets. Now, if you have a wooden fence, you know how they kind of deteriorate over time, especially being in the sun. Um, so these are not like permit solutions. These are not permit tables. I was thinking that you can just replace the tabletop and call it a day, but that may not be the case depending on where you're at. Now, in case anyone is wondering, I don't know if I posted this or not. Unfortunately, my screws are out at my property because, um, that's where I was doing the bulk of my uh, building. So this is for the two by twos. It just goes right right in, two inches. Um, that's how big it is. And these were for the for the pickets. They're much smaller, of course. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I know one thing you can see. So there's a difference. So um, 
is using decking screws. They have the the hex. Um. So yeah, like these are stiff now, so they're good to go. Yeah. And that's pretty much it for this project. And um, who knows what I'm doing tomorrow and Sunday. I did plant the um, blackberries. They're out in front. I got two raspberries. I haven't planted them. Now I'm only going to do an experiment out my property. It is the wet season. So I'm going to go ahead and plant one blackberry and one raspberry out of my property. Depends on if I have company tomorrow. Depends whether or not I film out my property. The, uh, the company I usually have doesn't want to be part of this YouTube thing. And I don't blame them. So, there's a good chance the next part of this video would be me ending it or out at the property filming out there. That being said, I'll be right back. All right, it's Saturday around nine o'clock, and I'm out at my property. I'm gonna go dig this hole a little bit more, plant some uh, blackberry and raspberry. Um, there's a water container I just brought out here. It's full. This one's not as full, but um, I don't have water out here, so this is way I'm getting water out here. And now that I have this wonderful shed, you know, it's probably not doing justice to how big this sucker is. I got plenty of space. Not usable space, but I got plenty of space. That's a project for another time. And I also forgot my tripod, which is a shame because I also brought my action camera. I think that I filmed making the table. I'm going to actually shoot my 308 and I have to re zero my 308. So instead of wasting the ammunition, I got this several months ago. Um, I was just waiting for the berm to be complete. Poppy won't be firing at 100 yards. Poppy move that table or get my other table out and move it closer to the range. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, I was kind of hoping it would, well, I mean, it's definitely wet. Mud is definitely wet. I kind of left this out here because it was going to rain last night out here. Kind of hoping it would, uh, you know, clean it for me, which is fine. It didn't. So. Now we're going to go walk. <laughs> I don't know if this does justice and how big this pile is. At least what it looks like. <clears throat> it's uh, reassuring. <laughs> like I said, I think I'm actually almost done with this berm. Um... But we're going to put another berm roughly right there to the left of that target stand. And that's going to be our 60 yard mark. So I might. Ooh, forgot. I didn't forget. I just didn't think about bringing my chainsaw. But it looks like those limbs might have to go. Um. I do have an axe, and I do have a bow saw, so I might do some trimming right there. But yeah, I might put the table right around here to remove any doubt while I zero out my rifle. Who knows? I have no clue in how long this video is going to end up being, but... Oh! Stump. Either way, either way, hopefully someone gets something out of it. They watch it, even if they skip through it. 
All right, so what did the rain do? Really didn't do much here. Did we get any rain? I didn't even know if we got any rain. But light colored dirt, it's the stuff that I dug up yesterday when I was uh, stopped by the uh, Texas Wildlife Department to do a tour of my property and come up with a game plan. That being said, um, I'll be back when I have some more progress. All right, it's about 11 o'clock and I'm done digging. There's only so much digging I could do. I'm uh, out of shape. My buddy's not here. Why I say that's good enough? I don't think it looks any taller, but I did spread out the dirt some more. I mean, I added some more branches. Hopefully that keeps the uh, dirt in. There. Like I said, I can't flatten now, even though it doesn't look like it. Just add more dirt. Spread it out some. And I come back here with my uh, chainsaw. I'll lob this, lob this part out. Let's... No. I'm not going to. Um, going to move this over there, but it's not needed. We'll just... I'll just lop this off. Um, see... I might put, be able to put something there. Who knows? Like I said, this is this is the backside. Now I did plan out the backside a little bit more than I did the front side. Like I said, it's it's a hill. Well, kind of. Um, here's what it looks like over here. And there's the hole. It's a pretty big hole, to be honest. But I think I'm done. I think it's. I think now it's just added more support for erosion at this point. Hoping that these are dug deep down enough. Hopefully. Like I said, uh, can't expect this to rot. In probably about three or four years, so hopefully by then I'll have a tractor that would make this so much easier. Anyways, I'm gonna go have some lunch, and when I come back, I'm going to re zero my 308 scope. Already here, about to use this for the first time, at least for zeroing a rifle. Now, this is the green version. As you can see right there, the green. Now I gotta zero this out. Now the left and right is good. I should say. The left and right is good. It's the up and down that's out of whack. So I'm gonna use this. Get more in line and hopefully um, poke a hole in this tin and then record the hole being punched into here on this camera. But we shall see, that is the goal. Um, yeah, that's the goal. All right, I'm back. Now I want to see something. See here. Can you see that? Don't know if you can see that. 
Ooh, you walk. I don't really have the technology for this, but it's pretty high. All right, so I can't get this rifle, the scope, to be zero. The issue is that I'm shooting high, and there's nothing I could do currently to make myself shoot lower, other than aiming lower, which defeats the purpose of a scope. No. He is this one. I'm also shooting to the right. I'm also running out of ammo. So this is down. I cannot click anything down. I can go up, but I can't go down. Now I've been shimming this part right here, but I haven't noticed anything different. So, I have to remount the scope from the actual um, mount. I don't have the tools with me. So, this project's going to be uh, another day. That being said, I want to tell you or show you what I mean by shooting high. All right, I'm here to uh, plant blackberry and raspberry. Um, this one's the raspberry right here. Only way I know this is because uh, when I wrapped it, it had the the roots, the longer roots, I should say. Now, if I'm I'm just going to put this in here. Now this is clay. And down there I did put some uh, fertilizer for the um, for berry plants. And this is the sawdust it came with. I don't know if it's needed or not. But you know what? I'm just going to plant it. And then uh, hopefully, ooh, didn't realize that. Oh well. I mean, it's, it's now realize that that's cracked a little. Hopefully, it's not an issue. And we'll put some of this clay back in. We'll give it some water. You know, it's been soaking. And hopefully this year, these will survive. I'm only going to invest two plants this year. They make it, they make it. <clears throat> if not, oh well. Here, yeah, we'll just... Let's see, do something like that. Give it, give it all the chance it can. Hopefully water goes through this. And hopefully the, uh, the ones I plant at my house will do much better. <clears throat> all right. That's the uh, raspberries. Now it's time to do the blackberry. 
I'm sure I'm doing this wrong. Ooh, almost tripped. Forget what that was. Might be a uh, blackberry. It might be. Or it might have been something else. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to do the same thing here. Put some of this right here down. And one doesn't really have any roots. So hopefully, hopefully it's okay. Put some more. Put all sawdust back in. Hopefully the sawdust gives it nice nutrition. Went. Some of this um, clay dirt back in. Give it some water. Probably too much water. I don't care. I'm a little disappointed. <clears throat> they kind of zero my rifle. Not much I could do. Um, I did play back. The last two clips I recorded and uh, my mic wasn't working. So, my mic wasn't working. Um, just know that I was pointing towards where I was aiming at with the very bottom lip. And the rounds were going to the up left, kind of past the top of the tin. Um, this is just what it is. With that being said, I'm going to go rip a hole in here and do the same thing I did over there with this. And I'm going to call it a day. For those that watched to the very end, I appreciate it. Um, if you have any suggestions other than remounting the scope to the mount, let me know. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.